Hello, my name is Keith Jacob. I'm a consultant with Stratford Technology. And today I'm gonna to demonstrate how to use the FDMEE Excel interface. So let me show you how it works. First thing I'm gonna do is, is log into FDMEE. So let me do that now. Navigate, administer, data management. So the Excel interface is located under the setup tab and then under integration setup. So here you see it here. Uh, when I click on that, there are three sections to this screen, download to Excel, upload from Excel, and then the status. So the Excel interface is used to upload uh, metadata items into FDMEE, such as locations, periods, import formats. Um, those components can reside in a, in a SQL table. And so those tables can be exported in Excel format, uh, edited, and then uploaded back into, it, into FDMEE. So when I click the drop down list here, it shows me the list of the different items that can be exported. For example, application category mappings, period mappings, batch jobs, category mappings here, data load rules, and locations, et cetera. So I'm gonna show you how to upload locations. So I'm gonna select the location option and then give it a file name. So we'll call it locations. export and then on the right here i'm just going to click the download button in the status window here it shows me that the file exported successfully so to view that file if i click on the select button here it shows me the fdmee data folder on my fdm server and i can see that my file has been exported here now Using the buttons at the top, you can download or upload these files. And so I'm going to download this file to my desktop. Okay. And I'm going to save that here. Okay. Once it's downloaded, I'm now going to open the folder and on my desktop. And here you can see the file that I just exported. Now, before I modify this file, I'm just going to make a copy of it and I'm going to edit this file in case I screw things up. I want to always have a, an original copy in case I need to reload that back in. So I'm going to call my new copy here, locations import. This is a file I'm going to edit and actually import back into FDME. So I'll double click that to open it. And what you see here is a list of all of my FDM EE locations. So I'm going to click my enable editing button here. And let me just widen the columns here so we can see what we're working with. All right. So in column B here is a list of all my locations. All right. And then you can see all of the other fields, such as the import formats, uh, the logic groups. Etc. Um, and in column one or column A, you can see what's called partition key. Now that's very important, and I'll show you why in a few minutes. So what I want to do now is I want to add three locations to this file, and then I'm going to upload them back into FDME. So I'm going to take a location that already exists. I'm just going to make a copy of it, and then paste it down here at the end. Now, my new locations, I'm going to call them uh, new loc1, all right? And now this is very important. I'm going to keep the same import format and the same attributes that I have. Um, I'm not going to change those. But what's very important here is the partition key. So if I look at all my partition keys, this is a, a unique number that the system assigns when a location is created. So 
So I could see that the last number in the list is 48. So I'm going to give my new location a number of 49. Reason for that is that you cannot have a duplicate partition key. So those all have to be unique, unique numbers. Now that my location is ready, I'm just going to make two more copies of this here. And I'm gonna call those other locations new loc two and new loc three. And also I'm going to change the partition key number. So we'll call it number 50 and 51. Okay. <clears throat> and again, I'm just gonna keep the same attributes that I have here and I'll save my file and there's one other important thing. Now this file is almost ready to be uploaded, but you'll notice at the top left corner at cell A1 here, I see something called TPOV partition. Okay, uh, place your cursor in that cell. And then when I click on the named range here and highlight this UPS TPOV partition, you could see that it highlights uh, a range of cells. Now, it does not include the three new uh, locations that I added, so we want to make sure that that named range is updated to include our new location. Otherwise, when we load this file back, it's not going to recognize those three lines and it, it won't upload your, your new locations. So to do that, I go to Formulas and then I click on Name Manager. Okay, here you see my UPS T POV partition, and down below is the, the, the range of cells that is highlighted. So it says A1 through AH33. So I need to make that go down to row 36. I'm just going to edit that, change it to 36, click on the checkbox, and then close. And now, when I put my cursor in cell A1, and select that named range, it now includes the three new locations that I added. So this file is now ready to be uploaded. I'm gonna save it and close it out. Then I'm gonna go back into FDMEE. And now I'm gonna go into the upload from Excel section and I'm gonna select my file. I click on the select button. And remember I, I edited that file on my laptop. And so now I have to upload that to the server here. So I'll click on the upload button and browse and select my new file and then click OK. And now I see my file here, locations import, and I can select it and click OK. And now the file is ready to be uploaded. I'm just going to clear the log. And on the right hand side here, I'll click upload. Okay, in the status window, I can see my file has been imported successfully. So now let's go over and check our locations and see if they uploaded correctly. So I'll click on locations and then I'll scroll down. We call them new loc one, two, and three. And here you can see my new locations have been uploaded. You can see that all the attributes um, from the file are here. And so you can see how big of a time saver that could be. Um, at the end of each, each year, a lot of times you have to add the 12 new periods for FDM EE. That can also be done using the Excel interface, as well as all the other uh, tables that I showed you before. So uh, I hope you found this video helpful and have a great day.